I'd like to start off this video by thanking everybody for the support recently on this channel. The videos that I upload when I'm catching child predators are not monetized. I do not make any money off this whatsoever. The only way that this turns any money at all to pay for lawyers and members of staff to catch these people full time is through my Patreon account. The Patreon account is completely non-profitable. All it does is pay for lawyers each time I need them to check through the content and check through the conversations to make sure everything is legally sound. That's something that takes my content a step further than the majority of people that catch predators on YouTube because I make sure that everything I'm doing is legally okay. Everything is legally sound and these people do get prosecuted. It also pays for members of staff to message these people full time for me so it's not taking over my entire life. I do not take any money out of the Patreon and whatever's left at the end of the month goes to charities. It's because of your help on Patreon that these videos can keep on being uploaded, otherwise I wouldn't have enough money personally to pay for the lawyers and all of this as these are not monetized. So if you guys can spare the equivalent to a McDonald's meal each month, it really does mean a lot and it is you guys that are helping these people get put beyond bars. I've received a lot of comments recently asking me to react to other people catching child predators what they do right, what they do wrong, and where they can improve or where they don't need to. I've only managed to speak to one female predator in my entire eight months of doing this. All of our details are passed to the police and I haven't heard back, so I don't really know what's going on in that case, actually, thinking about it. But I've never got to meet somebody face to face that is a female trying to meet a minor for sex. So the video that I'm reacting to today is from a YouTube channel called DAP Inc. Feel free to check them out, their link will be in the description down below. And a little message to YouTube about why this video should be monetized. The video that I'm reacting to is currently up on YouTube and is monetized itself, which means it's past the checks of what a monetized video can be. Me reacting to this video is under the Fair Use Act and actually allows me to watch this video and monetize it myself. There is no reason under any YouTube standards that this video should be demonetized. So without any further hesitation, let's get into this video. So as you can see from the beginning of these chat logs, this woman is the first person to message. She says, hi, please tell me you're up for some fun tonight. So when it comes to entrapment laws, you are not legally allowed to message them first. If I message them first, it can be classed as catfishing, you know, luring them in. And it would be completely admissible in court. The fact that they message first is a good thing. Not for the children out there, but for the case. This bit of the chat log shows that the woman asks how old this person is. They said they're about to be 16, which means they're 15 years old. So Iowa in America actually has one of the weirder consent laws in America. You're allowed to be 14 or 15 years old and consent to sex as long as the person's within 48 months of your age. That means you're allowed to be 14 years old and have sex with an 18 year old, which in England is completely illegal. And in America, is, is bizarre, isn't it? But the legal age for anyone else, as in over the age of 48 months older than you, you have to be 16 years old. So they say, I'm about to be 16, which means they're 15 at the time. So as long as this woman is only 19 years old, there's nothing wrong with this. You can see from the photos that she is definitely older than 19. And you will see that in the video as well. The fact that she says, yes, me or my husband would, means that there's two of them that are completely up for sex with a minor. This is uh, not only grooming from one person, but this is grooming from two. This message here would make her husband completely liable for the same actions that she would have to go through. So she sends a selfie with three fingers being held up after the request of this 15 year old girl. This message is not far away from her saying that she's 15, so this woman completely understands that this girl is underage at this point. She's in no delusion that this is not the case. You're not a cop, right? Lol. She knows what she's doing is wrong because you wouldn't ask the question, are you a cop? Unless what you were doing is illegal. You will see later on that she tries to use the excuse that she doesn't know that this girl is 15 years old. But this is confirmation that she does. I 
I feel like that's enough of the context of this conversation to get into reacting to the actual confrontation. Hey, Beth. How's it going, Beth? I think you know what we're, what we're doing here, right? You can tell off the start, that she's got a face like a slapped ass. She knows something is up. I mean, that face is a face of confusion, guilt, and shock. It's very, very, um, it looks like her face is throwing up gang signs. I can cause a scene if you don't want to be honest. We're dads against predators. So we catch people that are trying to solicit online kids. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. No, you're not. This is a weird thing that predators tend to say when they're confronted. I'm glad you're here because actually, you've got it wrong and this is the reason I'm here. And I'm glad you're here doing a good thing, blah, blah, blah. They're only saying that to try and make themselves sound less bad. Right. Because the only reason I came down was to wipe the phone. Oh yeah? Why would you want the only reason I came down was to wipe the phone. The only reason I came here, it wasn't to meet a 15 year old, you know, like I said. And they talked about, you know, having a threesome. There's no other reason for me to be here other than the fact, you know, that I said that I'll sleep with this 15 year old with my husband. It's actually to wipe any evidence of me ever saying that. Because that's a good fucking excuse, isn't it, Beth? I'm gonna wipe it. Because you were doing something wrong, wasn't you? I have all the screenshots. Yeah. So, I can make a scene. Let's be honest. What did you want that 15 year old girl to come here for? To wipe the phone. Right. So, why would you want a 15 year old to turn up to wipe her phone? Unless there was evidence of you committing a crime on it. Very confusing, isn't it? I want to meet this 15 year old because I was asking him. And it's, it's the most stupid, blatantly ignorant excuse I've ever heard. Because I didn't realize- I thought you wanted her to have fun with your husband and you were scared she was a cop. No. Well, that's blatantly a lie again, love, because we just saw you message and say, are you a cop? Which kind of insinuates that you asked her if she was a cop, doesn't it? I mean, it's there. Uh, that's what you said, I have to Yeah, said. so that you could come so I could wipe your phone, because- Why would you want to wipe the phone? Attention. You knew she was, you knew she, how old she was. You kept on no, saying, I, I'm scared. I, I, I don't want the cops to come. I don't want to get in trouble. So let's be honest, or I'm going to start yelling. Will you please listen? Okay. It's weird that somebody that's just been caught grooming a 15 year old, luring them to a hotel to have sex with her and her husband is this ignorantly rude. Please listen to me, actually. Like you're not listening. Technically, they don't really need to hear you out. They've got the evidence. They've got proof of you being in the place that you said you'd be to meet a 15 year old girl. At this point, they could just call the police, get you arrested, pull your husband down from upstairs in his hotel room, get him arrested as well, and you'd both be charged. They're doing you a favor hearing you out. Like, because you're really cutting me off right now, and that's not exactly cool. It's not exactly cool. Well, neither's meeting a 15 year old for sex, is it, Beth? See, I don't you do. But I didn't pay attention to the age. You did. Until after the fact. And then so I said, after this oh, is over, shit. after this so is over, then, listen, no, let me cut you off because me. you keep lying. Wait, wait, you wait. keep lying. I didn't pay attention to the age until after the fact. There was an entire conversation about I'm 15. And then there was an entire conversation after saying, you're not a cop, are you? I don't want to get in trouble. It, this is just like, it, it's, it baffles me that people come up with these excuses. Like the last person that I spoke to on a phone call, uh, my last video if you want to check it out, um, he used the excuse that I subtly gave him. I said, maybe somebody hacked your phone. Somebody hacked my phone, yeah, that's exactly what happened. People just grasp at straws, try and worm their way out of it with no, it, it, it's crazy, it's crazy. Let me speak. Okay, I'll let you speak. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Cause I mean. Okay, I'll let you speak. If you're not, then I'm just gonna go ahead and well, you're walk away. Well, you're here to girl. Bring her, bring her up there with your husband. We got no, the actually, I wasn't. You weren't chatting with the 15-year-old girl. You were chatting with us, and so... Yeah, you, but you're not listening. We're listening. So, again, am I gonna be allowed to speak or not? As I said before, technically, they don't need to let her speak. At this point, they have all the evidence they need to get her arrested, and if it were me, I would already be calling the police. I feel like this is the first mistake that these people make. I'm not... 
bashing them, I think they do an amazing job on YouTube. In cases like this, you want the police there straight away because she can go back upstairs, chip off with her husband, and then go groom somebody else straight away before you upload this video and people know about it. Not the police. Okay, that's exactly what I told my husband. Was that's three years older than my son. I'm not doing this. So what you told your husband was, I'm grooming a 15 year old for us to have sex. And uh, uh, she, mm, she is three years older than my son. Which completely throws up the case that she could potentially be 19 and this be legal, doesn't it? Because you can't have a son at six years old. You just can't. Can you? No, you can't. Periods. So, so how come on the way she... Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just frustrating. Uh, yeah, and I get that. But the whole thing is, is that you're still not letting me talk. I'm, I'm quiet. I got shit to say. Her face is so so insanely what's the fucking word siri how can you describe a face with lots of movement i found this on the web piece of shit it's very animated everything has a expression to it. it is it, i'm not sure if this is how she acts normally or if this is meth speaking like in this case i'm actually worried about her well-being. Actually, you, I you said You said you were I telling her husband you're, she's only three years older than your son, but five seconds ago you were just talking about have you ever done anything with a girl? So let's be honest. I needed her to come so I could wipe the phone. It's back to that really poor excuse again, isn't it? I needed her to come to wipe the phone so then she's got no evidence of me grooming her. But if a 15-year-old turned up, you would have asked to wipe the phone, would you, love? You would have invited her in. That's the reason these people are doing their job. That's the reason I do what I do. Because you're using this excuse now because you've been caught. But you saying to, to the camera that you want to destroy evidence is another crime on top of this. In America, it's a federal crime to tamper or destroy evidence. So she has now got the potential charges of grooming online solicitation for meeting a minor for sex. And now on top of that, she has a potential charge for intent to destroy evidence. It's so stupid. This is why I'd recommend, well I wouldn't recommend it actually, but this is why in America people invoke their Fifth Amendment right to not speak. Because this is incriminating as fuck. And it, they're gonna, doing a good job getting this out of her. Like, it's my job to try and get as much out of these people as possible without pushing the lines illegally. And doing that well adds extra charges on. That is what the skill is in this. Why did you need her to come to work the phone? Do you know how stupid that sounds? Yeah, do you not realize that I... Think of a lie, think of a lie. ...to the age, which I've already said three or four times now, right? Then why would you want to wipe the phone? No, because I wasn't paying attention to her age and I didn't feel comfortable. I wanted to wipe the phone if she really was coming. I, I didn't feel comfortable grooming a 15 year old. You poor fucking, ah, oh, you poor girl. Damn. I'm so sad. I, I'm so upset for you that you didn't feel comfortable grooming a 15 year old girl. Like, it, it makes me feel really bad for you. I hope you get your sympathy points for being, you know, at least a semi good looking woman. <laughs> so fucking stupid. So, this encounter goes on for a considerable amount of time. During this time, they keep on speaking to her, asking her why she's, you know, meeting a 15 year old. She keeps on denying it and all of this. So, I feel like we can skip. Uh, big chunk of this and get towards the end. Paraphrasing, you said... No, no, no. Oh, so is it your oh, husband? so now you can just paraphrase whatever way No, no, want. no, but the thing is, is that all is the chat phenomenal. logs, all the chat logs oh, is gonna be on this. So he says, paraphrasing, this is what was said. And then she tries to use that like, oh, you're, you're changing evidence, you're paraphrasing and taking words and putting them in my mouth. No, it, it still doesn't work like that. I mean, he's allowed to paraphrase what you say because you're there committing a crime. 
Like, you're not in any moral ground, you're not in any moral high standing, you are scum. And he can basically say what he wants to you. Especially in America, where they got freedom of speech. So, all the chat logs is on there, so if I sound stupid, they'll just let me know I sound stupid. Excuse me, guys. This woman and her husband is here to meet a 15-year-old girl. This is something that I don't agree with. So when I meet child predators, I try and take them out of potential danger. Because I don't want to be held liable for somebody else's actions. If I shout at the top of my voice, Hey guys, this is a child predator. And somebody goes and punches her in the face. I can be held responsible for that action. And that's silly. Like I said, I'd rather call the police, get the police to arrest them, than me make a statement. It's a lot simpler, and that's the way it should be done. Disgusting, right? No, that's how you're Disgusting, wrong. I just right? wanted a girl to fuck. I just wanted a girl to fuck. So she admits that she was trying to fuck a 15 year old. Good job, Beth. Ah, oh, you are one of the more intelligent ones, aren't you? Bloody hell. Well, you, uh, you found us, right? I don't have to leave, you don't own this place. Excuse me, sir. He's trying to lure children. She's trying to lure children with her husband here. I have all the screenshots. They want, a they want a 15 year old girl. They try to lure a 15 year old girl here. I have all the screenshots. So this isn't technically a bad thing that he's doing at the end here. Telling, you know, desk people at a hotel that there is a potential crime being committed in their place is a good thing because they'll probably call the police. At that point, the hotel could place them under citizen address, call the police in, and get the police to arrest them in their hotel room. The police were not called in this instance, which I feel like is the biggest, biggest mistake they made. If this was me, I've got proof of her attending. I would confront her with the evidence, and then I would call the police. If she goes back inside at that point, I know where she is. If I had to rate this encounter out of 10, I'd give it a 7.5. They conducted themselves very professionally. They didn't swear at her. They kept their patience with somebody that, in complete honesty, would wind me up. But they didn't call the police when they should have done, and that's the reason that it gets knocked down. I feel like everything else that Dads Against Predators, the YouTube channel, do is very good. That's the only thing that I would critique them on. I maybe put in the chat logs as a, you know, a still image and not a moving one. If you guys want to help out this channel, please remember to click the Patreon link down below and, you know, donate whatever you can. Thank you guys for watching. See you again soon with a predator that I've caught again. It just seems to be never ending. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.